This uh, trap has been sitting for about a week. And so now we're just checking it to see if we've caught something. All right, here's the moment of truth. So let's go over how to set the trap. This is the trap and there are a couple different pieces of it. Uh, the claws down here are what actually kill the mole uh, when they come together. We have the trigger plate, which is right here. And then this is what holds the trigger in place. And then this is your safety. And I'll show you how to use that. The two other pieces are uh, these little tools that help you set the trap. So what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna make sure this piece is laying over the top. And then from the side here, we'll put one tool in like that. And then the other one in from this side, just like that. And then it might take a little bit of strength, but you'll have to squeeze these two together and that will slowly open it up. The spring on the trap is really strong, so once you get it open, you wanna really be sure you're not putting your fingers anywhere near where those pinchers come together, because I imagine it, would, it could possibly break your finger if it got caught in there. So what you wanna do is once you get it close enough together like this, you can take that safety and you can flip it over. So that way if these do come apart, it's gonna stop it right there and it won't, uh, it won't fully close the trap. Now that we have the safety on, we'll want to re-grip here, and we're gonna close it a little bit more, close it as far as we can, and then we're gonna turn that trigger plate right here, and we're gonna put the bar right there. There's a little lip on there, and you want it to be barely sitting on there, so it's kind of a hairpin, hairpin trigger. So I have a little gap in between there, if you can see that, right there. See how there's a little gap in there, I'm not pushing it all the way down. So that way it's very sensitive. If that plate gets touched lightly, then it'll, it'll be set. So we wanna keep that safety on, um, but at this point, I can, that was a really good example of how, how, how uh, it can go off and I had the safety on and it didn't work. So uh, yeah, you need to be really careful. I had the safety on and it still uh, went off. So that is not good. All right, let's try this again. So I'm gonna put that safety on again, right over the top. Safety must have bumped up or something of why it didn't catch. And I'm gonna put that hairpin trigger on. I bet you what happened is when it's fully set, the safety is not it's not tight, and so I bet you it, it bounced up or something, it wasn't completely on there. Now that we have the trap set, we'll go ahead and put it down into the hole. Probably what I should have done before is instead of taking the tools off right now, I should actually hold on to it like this, it's a little bit safer, and then we'll put it down into the hole, and then that way I can just pull the tools off and the trap will be set, and then once I fill it in with dirt, be able to flip that safety up. So this is a learning experience. You can learn from my mistake right there. Uh, definitely be careful. So let's go ahead and put it into the hole. All right, here's a real quick example of how to set mole trap in the grass. Initially, I moved this pile over to here and then the mole pushed this dirt back up. So I know this is an active location. I'm gonna take this dirt and move it to the side. And you can see right here, there's a circle where the mole has been pushing up. Right away, I can tell where the tunnel is. There's a tunnel going that way, and there's a tunnel going this way. So I'm just using two of my fingers to kind of push around. There's a little ridge like this. So the tunnel is like that. So I'm gonna set the trap right here. I'm gonna pull up some of the grass around here, trying to keep it in a chunk so that I can replace it. Once I have the hole initially started, I'm gonna use the trap to figure out the size that I need. And I can use the tools that come with it to set the trap to dig out where the clamp pieces are gonna go. 
the extra dirt inside I'm just pulling to the middle to make a ridge. I use my fist to pack down that ridge and my fingers to pull the dirt into the middle. Then I will flip this uh, trigger pin over the top, use my tools, and I squeeze. Now I'm setting the trigger plate and I'll flip the safety over the top. I'll place the trap down into the hole. I need it to be a little bit deeper on the sides, so I'm going to pull the trap out. This is actually in our neighbor's lawn, and so hopefully I can catch a mole for them. But I wanted to be able to show you guys what it looks like just in a normal lawn. So I have one trap that's already set in my lawn, but I don't have any other locations to show you. So we have two channels now that are deep enough for the claws of the trap to sit inside, and the trigger plate is just gently resting on that ridge just like that so that the plate is gently resting on the dirt mound definitely keep your fingers away from where the trap would clamp now remember the tunnel is going like this and so hopefully the mole will come right through here hit that ridge push up the dirt it'll trigger the trap and then capture it so then we'll take these pieces of soil and place them right back on top like this leaving some air underneath. If we fill it completely full of dirt, it's less likely for the trap to succeed. And we definitely want to make sure that we have room for this piece to flip up to trigger the trap. So now that I have those pieces all set, I'm going to take that soil and kind of move it around to create a little mound. I'll use some of the extra soil that I had as well. If you can, pack it down. That way it won't all fall down in. You can place it on top like that. And then if you have a box or a bucket or something like that, you can place that box over the top. Now this is really important. Remember to take that safety off because our trap is completely set right now. And we just need to pull that safety up and over. And now the trap is set and ready to go. Put it over top to block all the sunlight. And we'll see if we get a mole. All right, it's now 24 hours later and we're gonna check to see if we have caught a mole. And look at that, the trap has been triggered. You can see how the bars are apart like this and this bar is just resting on top. That way we know that something has set the trap off. Now we gotta see if it's a mole. So we'll just go ahead and remove the dirt around. If it just got triggered by something else, I'm gonna keep this dirt close by so I can reset it. But I'm really hoping we have a mole inside. All right, here's the moment of truth. And there we have it. We caught another mole. Look at those paddles. You can tell it's a mole because of how silky soft it is. It's really soft fur. So I'm actually gonna uh, release this mole from the trap and we'll put it back inside of this hole and then we'll bury it and hopefully that will keep any other moles from coming to this yard anytime soon. This uh, trap has been sitting for about a week and so now we're just checking it to see if we've caught something. I put the little uh, the little tools on top of it just to help mark it if, uh, if I don't have the box there, but it looks like this trap is has gone off. <laughs> so if we clear some of the dirt here, just pull it back from the trap, you can see that the the two bars, so here's one bar here and then here's the other one they've been separated if you remember when the trap was set they're together so we can tell that this has gone off and there we have a mole you can see how small he is you know compared to my hand and a single mole like this 
will cause a lot of damage. They will actually have a large territory. So moles themselves usually are alone and the only time they come together is if they're mating. And so if a mole comes into another mole's territory and they can, they can smell that there's a presence of another mole there, then they'll actually leave and go somewhere else. And so the best thing to do with the dead body of the mole is to put it back down in the hole and then bury it. And then that way, if another mole decides to come along and starts using these uh, pre-existing tunnels, that it'll smell this mole's presence and then it'll go somewhere else. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I should be able to squeeze this enough to get him out of there. And then we'll just push him down into the hole there. And then we'll cover this hole back up and hopefully the grass will grow back and it will go back to normal. Hey, if you're new to this channel, I would invite you to push that subscribe button all the way in and click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. My name is Cody and this channel is called the Axe Family and then we're just documenting the adventure that myself and my family is on. So I hope you go and look at some of our other videos and I hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you in the next one. Hats off to you.